Uh, subspace dude. They oh got, yeah. They got oh massacred. my god. Calling Dylan Brawl Days the Ancient Minister was my. <laughs> oh my god! I'm calling him that from now on. So here we go. We got Nixie versus the Ancient Minister. Hell yeah, bro. All right, here we go. Already going for these landing air too, so get a dash grab possibly. Can we just already talk about the aggression that Nixie has established yeah. in the first 10 seconds? Already has him off stage, making him like, wait, am I gonna get back to the stage? Yeah, he's not gonna let him throw gyro for free. And that's exactly his game plan. Like you said, like Captain Falcon doesn't have a projectile, so he has to just yeah. break the zone of whatever type of if, if Dill wants to play campy, I feel like Nixie's not gonna allow it. Yeah. And Nick already showed that he knows the two ways to whip punish uh, what? What? Rob's Nair, so yeah, I don't Did know what he, that was. I think he recovered too low. I think he went for an up B when it was too close to the bottom of the blast zone. Maybe. Maybe he went super low because he was scared, but I'm not yeah. sure. That's fine. It's okay. He's bringing it back a bit. Nice jab block there. Yeah. Getting the forward smash. You got to go for a quick punish after a jab block now. So So that air dodge read could have been a potential down air, but I feel like he wasn't believing in it. Yeah. All right. Well, that was a little greedy from Dale, but the jar was covering him a little bit. Yeah, I think that's why he went for the greedy option. I, that's yeah. why. That's when Dills tends to go for these wild. Right. Nixie, like, three reads in a row now. Ah! Right. The neutral hair off stage, ninety percent. All right, up B. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Dill just played just as planned, ca catching that landing lag after the up B. Yeah. Whoop. Now. At this point, you know, whenever uh, Nick C catches the gyro, I feel like sometimes he doesn't really want to be holding that because he loses access to his aerials midair. He just goes for the up throw for damage. He does want to risk going for the down throw this early because Nick C will definitely be able to mash out of it quick enough. Uh -huh. Good chase. Go. Yep. You saw Dill trying to, like, fade away from the stage with that up B2, but Nick C was just like, I. He, Captain Falcon has a lot of aerial momentum. Easily right. go after and chase. And there we go with the grounded down air. Uh, there's no knockback on that at low percent, so you just get a, a standing grab off of it. All right, and the juggles here. All that off of one neutral air. Yeah, you cannot neutral air dodge. You cannot Dead. get out. Oh, we missed All right, it. up B. Oh. He usually goes for up B there because yeah. the command grab covers if they get up and shield. A lot of Captain Falcon is like going for it. Falcon dive, yeah, whenever the they're on the platforms. Nick C. Okay. Down throw? All right, mash out. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way I'm trying to See, that's one of the things, like, he's probably really good at because his brother plays Rob. Like, right. he probably gets grabbed by by his brother. He's probably yeah. broken, like, three controllers playing his brother. Yeah, exactly. Same way it was, like, playing King K. Rool or Inkling. Yep. Forward air. He uses double jumps. Dill could capitalize. Oh, and he whiffs the forward Just air. Just barely. He didn't go for an air dodge because he knew Dill was ready, like, off stage. How did that neutral air not kill? All right, and that backer is probably going to do it, yep. Yeah, Nick C right. with a two-stock against yeah. Dill game one. And, but Dill put up a fight. I feel like Dill could easily take this yeah. to at least a game three situation. I, I feel like his neutral exchanges that he won were like kind of sloppy, though. Mm. Like, Nick C just looked in control that game. But I, I feel like Dill, Dill could definitely do stuff if he cleans up a little. Yeah, it, it came off to me that whenever Dill finally landed a hit, I feel like sometimes his combos didn't work the yeah, way you yeah, wanted them to. Yeah, for sure. So it needs to uh, work on his roots a bit. Hopefully it's not a case of the jitters. Yeah. And I feel like Nick was really playing around like his low percent like uh, combos really well. Like he he avoided down tilts, he avoided fairies, he avoided the dash attack, he avoided gyro laser. Like what else do you want him to avoid? So now we're uh, jumping into game two here. A potential counter pick from yeah. Dill. We got Town. Battlefield and Yoshi Story gone. So Town and City. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic stage for Rob. Just a big open stage with some platforms that come in and out. Uh, average ceiling. You can be able to get that up smash. But just, it, it's the fact that it's big. It gives Rob plenty of room to try to, like, keep away from Gotham Falcon. Yeah. Yeah, big stages are definitely, like, uh, what Dill wants to aim for here on his counter pick. Mm. Uh, aside from FD, because obviously, like, once you get put in the air, you have no platforms to land on. Right. Like, Because so, he wants the platform yeah. still. Yeah, so Town's definitely the pick here. Try to go for the right, arm. They're crazy. Off stage. They're actually. Yeah, I, honestly, they're both going nuts. The thing is, they both have pretty okay. Like, Rob has a great recovery, and Captain Falcon has a pretty uh, good like one, decent, too. Right? Yeah, yeah so, so, like, they, they're, they're going to get back to stage. Unless they do something really stupid. All right. Dash attack. He's playing around the nair really well. And. What? Did that. The okay. platform. Yeah. It, and he wouldn't have died, but, like. No, he would have super died. You think? Yeah, yeah. The spike would have just killed him. Oh, you're right. He was at, he was at like, 80. You're right. Yeah. All right, offstage Nair. 
Didn't Dill is just not ready for how far Nick goes off stage. He doesn't know that, like, oh, all right. That, that was even. a good turnaround. I like that answer. Yeah, and he did the same thing. He put the gyro in front of him and did forward smash. The thing is, what a lot of players don't recognize is that when you have Rob off stage, he's he's actually vulnerable. Yeah. Like, he can't air dodge once he commits to the up B. Yeah. And a lot of players will capitalize on it. Like, Nick, right here. Like, he can't get away. Like, the, yeah, yeah. like Nick the, C will just go out there and just mash a button. The, the only thing he could do is press an aerial or jump, right? Mm -hmm. So so he's just outspacing both of those options, and he's getting an air every single time. Yeah. Because an air is, like, one of his farthest reaches. Oh, that was moves. such a lazy air dodge from Dill. Nick C could have got a big punish there. Mm -hmm. All right, down air knee, yeah. Good night. It's so easy on a big body like Rob. Like, how the Falcon lives to fight big bodies, dude. Bowser, TK, Rob, like. What? All right, air dodge up. I wonder if that was a misinput. Still seems a little or lost. Or he's scared. Yeah. Oh my god, that neutral hair. The first thing that neutral could have been devastating. Yeah. Stuffs out the Falcon kick. All right, oh, yeah. Whoa, so, so Spook scoops him up with the He, he was trying to do that the first time. And he just goes for it again. Down air, if you get it through the platform, true combos into up smash. You oh can't take it. Nixie just he he just wants to play Mr. E already. Yeah. He, he wants he's, his he's run like back. A, Please give me the run back. My God, you know what, Nixie? You get that run back. You got it. You got it, bro. Go fight him. All right. no. <laughs> and we're gonna see Nick versus Mr. E again. So the second I saw that down smash, it was like I knew he just wanted to like yeah. get to that. Come on, bring up that loser's finals.